That's what you want to see, right? Somewhere is. Well, outside of the fire, I think it went pretty good. <laughs> it, it was a uh, typical Monday, I guess. We're going to come across problem cars. We're going to make bad calls. Ninety-something thousand dollars in that Porsche. Man, we need to get that money out of there as fast as possible. Each and every one of you are here to put value into a car. If you want to go have beers, then give me a call and let's go have beers where it's not so damn expensive. Okay, what did I just say? I like turning out really nice cars. I like having the nicest car on the market. At the end of the day, the team is either going to perform or it's not. But I'm about done supplementing the team. You know, I, I work, I'm working too much. And, and when I have these situations where I could have made $10,000 on the car, but instead I'm not going to make anything on the car, that's up to everybody in the room to decide whether you're there just to get by, just to get paid, or whether you're really trying to add value to that car and really doing your best. Otherwise, maybe I should just go back to buying and selling cars on my own. What the fuck does that have to do with your job? Nothing to do with my job. It doesn't. That's right. You shouldn't even be fucking talking about them. Okay? It has nothing to do with you. You should be paying attention to this car. I am paying attention. Okay, to this no, car. you're talking about all this other bullshit. It's got nothing to do with you. Okay, well, in the meantime, you've got all these other people's minds on what you're saying, okay. which is a bunch of fucking disgruntled, unhappy bullshit that ain't helping nobody do nothing. Okay? Least of all me somebody. doing what I'm supposed to be fucking doing right now. I've got things I've got to fucking do today, and I'm over here fucking talking to you. Let's do it. Because all I can fucking hear is you over here pissing and fucking moaning. Well, the car was right. Well, it's not running now when we need it to fucking run, is it? That could change in a New York minute around here. Show up at 9 o'clock on the most important day of the fucking year. Oh, well, it was running. 
I mean, how could that happen, man? Well, the car, man, the car was running. No, you fuck you, dude. This is fucking total fucking bullshit. There's the fucking text, okay? John has failed his whole fucking life. He's failed even though he's worked really hard. So he'll work really hard and then just throw it all up to failure. He's like used to failing. He like wants to fail. Something weird going on with him because it makes no sense. Anybody who had any interest in succeeding would have test driven this car. What does that mean? I don't know, Jack. They're doing it right now. The starter's out. It was so fucking hot. That you want part of this fucking deal? You do what you're supposed to fucking do. Okay? You see me here, right? I, I, I see what happens. You know, I don't have to see the whole thing. I'm one of these people that, like, knows shit's going on, even though I don't have to see it going on. Because I've been around. The last few months have been somewhat trying. Uh, we've had to let a few guys go who were not really taking care of business. There's not a lot of uh, room for uh, mistakes. Restoring cars is a very labor intensive and uh, high cost endeavor. Things need to be done in an efficient and timely manner and not everybody can do that. Unnecessary time spent doing nothing that's adding any value to the car. We had to pull the whole car apart, and repaint the car again. Why do you think I get so fucking mad? Because I'm watching it. I'm watching it go on all day long. And it's ugly. I'm used to it. I'm used to it. I'm used to watching this all the fucking time. What happens when you rebuild a motor twice? I've stood up in front of these guys a lot of times and said this needs to be right, that needs to be right. Why the fuck would I put $100,000 in the car just so it looks good for the fucking pictures? It doesn't make any sense. The cars always sell. Nothing ever sits on the market. Our cars are always uh, move fairly quickly once they're put up for sale. Well, I better not say that on camera. <laughs> the 356SC uh, it, the project went okay. Uh, the project did not go okay. Numbers matching car, very, very, very rare. Nearly impossible to get a hold of one that's been hidden away with black plates and original floors and all original metal like that, particularly one that's a one owner car. When I buy a really good car that's worth a whole bunch of money, that I could make a whole bunch of money, the day that I bought it, and I hand it off to my guys and they do deficient work on the car, very troubling. When they told me the car was done, I mean, I, it infuriated me. I'm taking this good starting piece and doing this half-ass work to it and putting it out there to be ridiculed with my name on it, that is not what I'm trying to do. But I'm dealing with human beings and they're not perfect. floor rust which is always a big problem with these cars. Now that floor is gone right there. Oh boy. Shit. Kind of a marginal purchase at nine grand. We're not going to make a penny of it. There's not even a single one listed on eBay. These are rare. 